Well, I hope you all haven't eaten yet, because I'm going to whip up a batch of my super-duper French toast. All right. Oh, um, none for me, and Grace. I'm not really hungry. Charity, you haven't had much of an appetite lately. You feeling all right? I bet you I know what it is. Prom's coming up, and she's never been to one. Yeah, the prom. Well, there's no reason to be nervous. You are going to have a wonderful time. Now have at least one piece of French toast. It'll make me feel better. Charity, why don't I make you something else? Poached egg on toast? <clears throat> no, thank you. I'm really just not hungry. Me neither. I just... I've been too worried about Chad being in the hospital. Maybe on his deathbed. Kay's loss of appetite's all about. The prom? Yeah, she thinks if she gets us worried enough, we'll revoke her punishment and let her go to the prom after all. Well, would it really be so bad to let her go? Grace, she lied to us and snuck out to a jazz club late at night. I know. But, you know, with what happened to Chad, it just really doesn't seem like such a big deal anymore. Well, I think we should stick to our guns. Kay could use a little discipline. I talked to the night nurse this morning. She said there's been no change in Chad's condition. I'm sorry to hear that. We were just talking about him. Eve, I have a big favor to ask you. Anything. Sorry to interrupt you guys, but may I be excused? I want to work on the hem of my prom dress. Mm. I'll help you, Charity. Okay. Oh, Grace, of course I'll look in on the girls while you and Sam are away. It sure won't be too much of an imposition. No, don't ever think that. You are the best friend a person could ever have. And you know, I think Sam's taking me sailing so that I won't imagine any naked women in the next row. <laughs> and let me warm up your coffee. Mugshot. We had a deal. You were supposed to be keeping me informed of Sam's plans and whereabouts 24 hours a day. For starters, where is he right now? Eve, what is it? Is something wrong with Chad? Eve, are you there? What is it, Mom? Is it about Chad? What is going on, Eve? Where are you? Just calm down. It's not about Chad. It's something else. I'm sure Chad's all right. Excuse me. Is everything okay? Oh, fine. <laughs> it's just my, uh, accountant. He... Has some financial papers he needs to go over with me. And TZ, I don't know when I'm going to find the time. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. It looks like I'm going to have to go into the station after all. Uh, does this mean we're not going to go on the sailing trip? No, 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 no. I promise to be home early enough to help you pack. Okay. And, oh, yeah, by the way, have you seen my new shoes? Yeah, they're in the closet on the right-hand side. Under the, you, know, you know what? You'll never find them. I'll help. <laughs> we'll be right back. Excuse me. Russell said that Smoke would go to the prom, and it would just be totally unfair for me to stay home and not go. Well, Eve's given in. I don't see how we could hold out without seeming like monsters. Oh, no, you're right. Kay, you can go to the prom. Oh, thank you, Mom. Oh, my Mom. Thank you, Dad. I love oh, you. Oh, we love you, too. I just hope you learned your lesson. Oh, I did. I promise. From Alan, I'm just going to be perfect. Oh, we don't want perfect. Just truthful and honest. You got it, Dad. Come on, son. We have a lot to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye, okay. sweetie. Bye, Eve. Eve. You lied about that phone call. I know it wasn't your accountant. That phone call you got was about Chad, wasn't it? I'm afraid he's worse and he just didn't want the girls to know. No, that, that's not it, Grace. Well, something threw you enough that you reversed your decision about Simone going to the prom. Now both the girls are going. Well, I'm sorry. I mean, do you want me to go and tell oh. them that I just wasn't paying attention? No, no, it's it's all right. Let them go. No, Eve, it's it's you that I'm worried about. Oh no, I'm fine. Don't say you're fine. 
it's obvious that something's been bugging you for a while, and I want you to know that whatever it is, you can trust me with it. You know that, don't you? I love you very much. And there isn't anything in the world that I wouldn't do for you if I could. I have to go. But I... I'm... I'm okay, Grace. I, I promise. Hey, I'm here for you if you need me, okay? be my hat. I ordered it for the sailing trip. I'll be right back.